So today we're here with dancer and model Renee Stewart and we're doing a beautiful smoky eye technique and a photo shoot that's focusing on her bronze skin. So to get a really black smoky eye, I'm going to start with a cream base. And to achieve that cream base today, I'm going to use this L'Oreal Colorish pencil. And that is going to give us a really strong black base for the powder shadows to set into and make sure that the black smoky eye lasts for a lot longer. Always smooth out any kind of base or concealer that you put on before because you don't want those lines to get set in. And you can even go straight with the pencil straight to the eye and then blend it. Or if you prefer, you can actually put the product on your skin of your hand and then with a brush, take the product and blend it into the eye. You do get a little bit more control this way. It's actually not essential to go in with a cream eyeshadow base first with a smoky eye, but it does give you a blacker black and a longer lasting effect. Once you've created the shape that you'd like, take a different brush, a clean brush, and blend out the line where it starts so you don't have a crisp sharp line because a smoky eye should be very faded and you should never see where it starts and finishes. You can also use your finger to blend. So cream eyeshadow can tend to move and also decrease. So what you need to do is set that with a powder. So before it gets a chance to move and crease, I'm going in and pressing in the powder to keep that in place. Now I'm using a black powder that has a gold bronze shimmer in it just to give the eye a little bit more dimension, but it's still gonna read as a black smoky eye. Now another clean brush, and we're gonna blend the powder line this time. So I like to go backwards and forwards over the line like a windscreen wiper motion, and just keep going until you don't see where the line really starts or finishes. When I'm doing a smoky eye like this, I never powder my base until after I've finished doing the eye because there's so much repair work that you will do during the technique to your base. I'm now taking a flesh colored eyeshadow, which is close to the base color, and I'm setting the foundation across the brow bone, and that's going to help us easily blend the eyeshadows. Next, we're gonna look up for me, and we're gonna take the dark black eyeshadow underneath the eye as well to continue the line all the way around the eye. The smoky eye always continues underneath as well. Then once again, take a clean brush, also bullet shaped, but a little bit bigger and softer. And I'm gonna blend that line underneath as well. Smoky eye should always have soft edges, never harsh lines. So to give a smoky eye more impact, I usually like to do a black inner rim liner. This can be done a number of ways. One of them is just a black inner rim pencil, which is probably the easiest way. I like to use a gel liner. Um, these are waterproof generally, and they stay a lot um, a lot easier. Now if you're game, you can also continue this line to the upper inner rim. So the last step to complete this smoky eye look is going to be the mascara. You just need to focus mostly on the top lash because you've already got so much black definition as it is. You don't need to worry about too much bottom mascara. I'm using the new L'Oreal Butterfly Wings Mascara, which has really short bristles, which are great to really get into the base of the lashes. So now I'm just gonna repeat exactly the same thing on the other eye. All right, take a look, what do you think? Oh my God. <laughs> Different for you? Yeah. Different look? Because I never wear like dark makeup at all, so it's right. obviously. Yeah, you're such a natural girl. But this will look really cool because we're shooting in black and white, so it'll give that real strength yeah. to your eyes in black and white shots. Awesome. Beautiful. Thank you. Let's shoot it. 